name is Belle here at Science Way, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another story for you. So I think it was, let me look at the calendar I have right here. It was back in March and it was the 17th, I believe, 17th or 18th. I might have been the 16th, I forget. Either way, back in that time in March, I went to my local Microsoft store because they were having a coding workshop. Now, so they Microsoft, it was actually their, I guess, subdivision, you could say. DigiGirls. DigiGirls is a company that wants to get more girls in this, get more girls into STEAM and STEM, which is my goal too. And I was like, oh, it's awesome. And literally the day before my mom had found it, she said, hey, you want to go do this? I was like, yes. <laughs> so we registered a day before. It just happened to come across your feed. So we registered and I was just so excited. And I think back in 20, yeah, 2015, I went to the same Microsoft store and I had attended a Youth Sparks coding class. That's where we got to modify a game to do different things. So we could say, okay, so when you spawn in this location, activate this action and this action and the character spawn with such and such item or many different things. We even had like a little workbook and everything. It was so cool. So. I was very familiar with the location. So we got there and I thought it was gonna be late, but we got there on time, there was a little bit of traffic and went, to, went inside the mall and it's a, it's quite a distance away. About the way I'm in Colorado, just for those, uh, just you know, because I'm gonna be talking about the location a little bit later in the story, but I definitely recommend checking your Microsoft stores for different events they have. Anyway, so we got there and looking around, it's, it's kind of busy. I'm thinking, okay, where is it? So I remember where the last one was, it was all the way at the back of the store with this huge projector screen. And I saw someone there, I'm thinking, is that it? In 2015, it was there, but you know, it's 2018, that was quite a bit ago. So I see a person there and I say, hi, this is the DJ Girls class. She said, yes, I'm like, oh, okay. I was a little confused because no one was there. Well, it turned out uh, two more girls showed up and there's supposed to be a total of six people. It, it turned out only being three. So, okay, yeah, it's a little bad because it didn't, you know, there wasn't a huge turnout for the event, but it was kind of good for my side because we had a little more hands-on with the teacher. Well, yeah, teacher. Well, I guess the instructor. The instructor's better. She wasn't like a teacher, per se, in the way I was using it. It's more like an instructor. It's kind of the same thing, <laughs> but... So we had a little more hands-on. So she introduced, she, you know, she introduced herself, her name was Bridget. So, hey Bridget, if you're watching. And we were, we were a little early and we just kind of talked for a minute, talked to Ryan as well. I didn't know his name at the time, I know his name now. But <laughs> talked, to, talked to those two a little bit. And then class started, he said, all right, I'll let you guys go. And she explained what Teacher Girls was, what they do. She showed us a video from Microsoft, which if I remember, I will link it down the, in the description below or I'll put it in the cards. It's, it's, that way, isn't it? I'll put it up in the cards. And um, it's funny because I actually saw it, I think it was last year when it came out because it was on Twitter and I saw it, I was like, that's so cool. And they had showed some statistics about, you know, how much percent of the, I think it was college graduates who actually ended up with STEAM jobs that were women. And they were basically, they brought these girls to test out their, some of their, well not test out, it was more like they showed some different things with their products. They also asked, you know, what do you want to do? And that was really cool. So she showed us that and basically what their mission was, was to get more girls in the STEAM or STEM, it's kind of both. And after that she said, all right, so we're gonna be doing some coding. And like I said, it was a coding workshop. And I think yeah, the whole family went. So me, my dad, my mom, and my brother had all went. So my, my brother and dad did something else. My mom had to stay in the store because that's what the rules were. Your, the parent had to stay in the store. Of course, I. You know, two of them were with me, so one could leave, one to stay. But, so she said, all right, we're gonna be just doing some coding. So open up your, I think it was, I'm not sure which kind of surface, surface it was, but it was the, one of the Microsoft Surfaces. It was one of the small ones. I'm not sure if it was the Surface Pro, it came with a pen. I really haven't looked at their technology. But, so we opened it up, and I was like, oh, this is really cool. It's been so long since I've used this. Cause last time I used it was 2015. So I was like, oh, this is so cool. So, and she said, go to code.org. And immediately I'm like, go to code.org, what? Why? So she said, go to code.org and we're gonna be doing our code. And some of you may be wondering, what's, what's the problem, Erica? I don't see the problem, why I said Bell. What's the problem, Bell? 
And the problem is that if you've been here for a little bit, you'll know that last year on code.org, I live streamed all our codes for two weeks. So when she said do an hour code, I was like, oh no, I know everything. No. <laughs> but here's a lesson to take away from that. Yes. I knew what it was because I, like I said, I did all of them last year and we did a Minecraft one. She said you could choose any other ones, but you know, it's somewhat best if you choose a Minecraft one because we could all do it together. But she said she would work with anyone who chose a different one. So the two girls next to me chose Minecraft Designer. I decided to choose Minecraft Hero's Journey because I like it more than Minecraft Designer. Nothing's wrong with the other one, I just like Minecraft Hero's Journey better. It has more problem solving for me. It has more challenges. Minecraft designer is kind of like, okay, so you know chicken Minecraft? You can program them to do different things. You can have them give you milk. You can have them destroy a block or explode. make different sounds. You can make, you know, Steve or Alex do different things. And that's why it's called Minecraft designer. You're kind of designing your own game within Minecraft. And I just like Minecraft Heroes already better because like I said, it has problem solving and uh, what I'd say, challenges. So, and that's, I love puzzles, so I, I can't help it. Nothing's wrong with that one, like I said, I just like this one better. And so I think she pulled up both. And even though, and like I said, the lesson to take away from this, because I forgot to say it, I'm sorry. I like to run on my story sometimes, I'm trying to get better at that. But the thing is, even if you went to some, you went to an event, and you know what's being said there, make the best of it. Now, the thing is, I went there for free. It was a free event. I didn't pay for it. I mean, yes, I would have been a, a little mad if I had, you know, if my parents had paid for it and um, I knew everything that was there. would have been a little mad. But it wasn't. It was free. It, it was just, you know, come in. You can do it. You had to register. But, you know. And even though I did know everything on there, I still made the best of it because I, I talked a little bit to the girls next to me. Uh, the mom actually had some questions about what I was doing since she saw that it was different from what her daughters were doing. So I explained what I was doing, how it was different, and how, uh, you know, this one has a little more problem solving and challenges. I even gave her my uh, YouTube, uh, my business card, which I'm updating at the moment. That's kind of out of date. <laughs> but I had to like get a pen and rewrite the URL for the YouTube channel. But I was asking some questions for her, and I even got to talk to Bridget, the instructor. It was really cool. We connected a little bit. She also plays video games. That was cool. And let's see, she said she was doing a uh, biology uh, major, I believe. I'm always so bad when it comes to college terms. But she's more doing, I think it was, I can't remember if it was computer science or computer data. Because to me, they're kind of the same. I know they're not. But either way, we still, you know computers and we're just both nerdy and geeky and it's just it was really cool because yeah she you know she works at Microsoft and she was quite a bit older than me but well not quite a bit older than me I'm sorry but my, my point was that my point to, to bring that up was that I love connecting with people that are older than me because they know more than me they know more than me they've experienced different things and I just get along great with people not saying I don't get along with kids it's just I haven't in the past because they're usually misbehaving. The, the girls weren't, which was great. I was really thankful for that. And plus there wasn't, you know, they didn't seem like misbehaving kids at all. They were really nice. They they talked, they spoke up. I really appreciated that. Mom, you did such a good job. I can't tell you how many times I've left places because kids were not mis because kids were misbehaving. Oh goodness, I have. But it was just great because I always connect with people who are a little older, older than me. Because they know more, like I said. They know more, they do more. And you know, we talked nerd stuff like uh, gaming and some computer stuff, technology, and it was great. It was really fun. So definitely just make the most out of it because you never know that some people you might meet, okay, yeah, I didn't go there to make friends. I usually never do because I'm there to, you know, learn whatever's there. But it's nice to connect with people. And I have, I've, I've had this thing constantly where I'm always the only person who's nerdy or into steam in certain things. I've always been like that. I've never found anyone else at all. I mean, I have recently on Twitter, uh, hey steam group if you're watching from Twitter, but I've never really found anyone, you know, no one to talk to about steam, no one to connect with. And if, you know, when adults ask me, you know, oh, so what are you interested in? And at the time, I was really into dinosaurs. I still am, but I'm more into, into technology now. I was like, oh, I'm into dinosaurs. They'd just be like, oh, okay. 
And that's it. And remember, I'm always with my brother when it comes to these things. So they'd ask him, what are you into? And he'd say cars. And they would ask him several questions and have a conversation with him. While I stand there and just listen. Or kind of just not listen because I'm not interested in cars. But do you get what I just said? They didn't know how to react to me being a girl who was not into dancing, ballerina stuff. Or that's kind of the same thing. Um, fashion or the stereotypical girly stuff. They didn't know how to respond to that. I'd say dinosaurs and they'd be like, okay, and that was it. So I've always, I didn't realize it at the time, but looking back, I've always been like that. I've always experienced that. No one knew how to handle that. When it, it was always adults, it was never kids. It was always adults. So it was really awesome that for once an adult, you know, asked, you know, oh, what are you more interested in? And I would say, so this time I actually said 3D because I'm really into 3D right now. And she actually asked me, you know, what, what are you doing more of in 3D? And I was like, well, I want to be a game designer and animator and stuff. And we had a conversation about games and stuff. And it hasn't happened before. And that's really cool. And I really appreciated that. I'm not saying she did it for me, but I was just really happy that she had a conversation with me. Because the adults in the past, you didn't have to know anything about what I was doing. You could have at least asked ask me, though, you know, uh, you know, humor me in my interest. But usually you don't. So that's why... I was really happy about that. And that's also why I mentioned the, the location of where I am, Colorado, because we don't have too much here. We do have some things. We're getting more stuff. It looks like last year we had the Mega Fair, which I did do a video on, but we've had some Steam, Steam events, Steam and Steam events, but I've either been too young to go to those, or it's for public schools, not homeschoolers. Or I get there, I paid, and it's a ripoff. What I mean by that is, one example, an event I went to, which I didn't mention in my last video, but you know, it's for people who didn't watch both. <laughs> but I went to an event, it was a dinosaur event, went there with me, with uh, me, my dad, my brother, went there, walked through like this little dinosaur thing, you got to take, take some pictures with some dinosaurs, and that was kind of cool, they kind of moved. And after that, you had to pay for your pictures. I don't even know if we did that or not. And then everything else, they had the dinosaur bounce house, a fossil dig, you could ride dinosaurs, and one other thing. You had to pay for all of that. Individually. I couldn't, you couldn't pay one price and get all of it. No, no, no. Pay a separate price for this, separate price for this, and this, and this. No. I don't even remember what you paid for the tickets, but you would think that'd be included. So... That's why I was like, it's really awesome that we had some events here in Colorado. Because I I didn't really look last year or in 2016 for Microsoft events. Usually my mom looks out for that stuff. So that's why I said definitely check your Microsoft stores and see if they have stuff. Because if you're in a place that's not California, that's not New York, and it's not a very tech savvy place, then you kind of know it's hard when you love technology or something that's Steam related and you don't have anything here. For example, there is CES, which is a huge technology event that I believe is in California. Well, if you're like me, or even if you're not like me, you know, sometimes going to the events, one, the tickets are expensive and you can't go by yourself. You know, either you can't or you don't want to. I'm definitely not one to go by myself. Neither do I want to. So a parent has to come with me. So we have to pay to fly there and a hotel and the tickets. It's going to be really expensive. And sometimes we just have better things to do with money than to go to a trip like that. And our whole thing is, you know, if me and a parent was going, we want the whole family to go so we can all enjoy it. Even if, you know, the other two, my brother and we'll say my uh, dad in this case, weren't going to see us. They can still come to California and enjoy, you know, everything there. So sometimes it's just not worth it, you know? So that's why I'm really pushing heavily on doing a lot more videos and going to a lot more events here because I want girls, especially minority girls, to know that Colorado has stuff. Especially since I've gone to several things and it wasn't great or it was okay. Or it, was, it would've been good had I not been past that level. But sometimes, you know, I'm a researcher, so is my mom. But you have some parents who aren't researchers and they don't know where to look or they're too busy to look, they're too busy working or taking care of the child or whatever it is, they're too busy 
to go look and find things to help their child with their interests. So I want this channel to be a resource so you can find what you're looking for in your area. So I may, something to think about with my mom, have a listing somewhere you can, you can find events. I would only put uh, areas that aren't techie. California has stuff all the time, I'm sure. It's a huge tech central state. So is New York. I'm talking about states that don't have a whole lot. They have some stuff, but maybe they need a little help with visibility. Because had my mom not seen it the day before for Disney Girls, wouldn't have known it would have happened. And I'm so glad I went because I connected with Bridget and Ryan and Wade. And it's possibly going to lead to some other stuff. So I'm so glad I went. But that's the thing. Had I not seen it, I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have made connections. I wouldn't have, you know, talked to that mom who was there with her daughters for the event. So I want to bring more visibility to this stuff because sometimes you just don't know. And if you're like me, if you see an event, you already kind of know, you know, oh, I either can't do it because A, B, C, D, because it's always like that. So, yeah, so huge props to Bridget and Ryan. I'm not sure if Wade helped with the event. Uh, I did meet him. You're cool. So we're well, all cool, really. But huge props to you for hosting those events. I definitely wish you the best with that. I want you to do more. And please let me know. I will come to the events. I will even speak at, a, at those events. I'll put it, put it out there because in areas where it's not techie, girls need to know more. Because if you want girls to get more into STEAM, and I'm just saying that you people at Digi Girls, I'm just talking about companies in general. If you want more girls in STEAM, you have to make it visible to them. You need to post it in the homeschool community. You need to post it in, you know, just different areas and do it in areas that aren't really popular for tech stuff. Every time I see a new tech thing and we're get, they're gonna do it in California, I'm like, really? California has enough tech, not tech stuff. Go to some place that needs, gr needs girls like me to go experience this event and change their lives and inspire them. That's what Megan Fair did for me and so did DigiGirls and the other two videos. One's up, one I'm doing next as I'm recording this video. So definitely keep doing that. Bridget, keep doing what you're doing. It's really awesome. I definitely want to help you with that because girls need to know more about it. Because like I said, we don't know where stuff is sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, I know I got a little bit on a rant. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I really did enjoy going to the Digi Girls events. And I hope to do more. They actually don't just do coding camps. I think it was the next week after. And I couldn't, well, well one, it wasn't in my area of interest. Two, I got sick on Monday. <laughs> but they had a aviation workshop. And they were going to have a speaker come in. And that's cool. They were going to have a speaker, a woman who was in that field, go speak at the event to some girls who have an interest in aviation. For those who don't know, it's, it's planes and things like that, I believe. So they got stuff in doing it. So please check your local Microsoft store. Go to the website, put your location in, and see what, what kind of events you have. And I don't know if all of them are free all the time. I know that the past two I went to, you know, DigiGirls and YouthSpark, they were free. I don't know if all of them are, but definitely at least check it out. And it's not just a thing, you know, to take your child to and drop them off like daycare or something like that. It's an investment for your child. It is something for them to spark their interest and inspire them. So definitely look at it. And if it's not there, I encourage you to talk to your local Microsoft store because Microsoft is doing some cool stuff. They have some cool stuff as well. They have some cool people. So I definitely think you should at least talk to them. If they, if you don't see anything, you don't have anything, go check it out. But yeah, I think that's going to be it. So I hope you all enjoyed. Links will be in the description to where you can find events in your area because let's be honest, the Microsoft website has a lot of stuff on it. So sometimes you might not know where to look. So I definitely want to help you out with that. In the description below. And I hope you all enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video and possibly at the next event. <laughs> Bye.